uh, welcome everyone to this uh, video on uh, how I built a virtual assistant like Siri using chat GPT prompting, no code. Uh, it's me, Nick Talreja, and uh, I will show you how uh, chat GPT uh, takes commands in natural language, just like we give commands to Siri and then returns uh, commands which can be processed by an app or a website. So uh, it can be a Siri replacement. Now, why I came up with this idea is uh, because Siri uh, with an accent like mine is, uh, is difficult uh, to train and there is no training whatsoever. So uh, every time it's a challenge, uh, giving Siri a new command or getting things done on my iPhone. And uh, it cannot take, uh, well, not only uh, here, but anywhere in the world, it cannot take multi-sequence uh, commands like, uh, you know, book a cab or play a song, then uh, show me the weather and show me the map. So if there are so many things uh, to be uh, shown by Siri, it cannot uh, do that as well. So uh, let's begin. Let's begin. This is uh, Chat GPT, uh, the free version, and uh, I'll paste the prompt that I made for the chatbot over here. Oops. Let me grab the prompt quickly. Okay, so I have grabbed the prompt from my notepad and I'm going to paste it now. So I will let uh, the printing stop, and uh, then I will explain what I have done. Okay, so I will explain my prompt first. I want you to be an interactive chatbot that responds to predefined instructions. The instructions and their respective commands are increase volume, and there's a command that I need, which can be passed through API calls via connectors, APIs to an app or to the core operating system of the phone. Uh, so that's why it's in a square bracket, which uh, signifies that it's a, it's a command. Decrease volume, play a movie and the movie name, pause or stop the movie, open an app. So on the left side, you see uh, open an app and the app name is in natural language. The way we speak uh, simply uh, in English to our phone, with our phone uh, or with Siri. And on the right side, we have in square brackets, which denotes a command again, open app and app name. And book a movie or movie ticket, play a song, song name, book a cab, call someone, set a reminder, send a message, set an alarm, open a website, get directions, check the weather. So now Siri uh, majorly uh, does all these activities. And these are the most popular activities of the virtual assistant that we have on our phone. It could be Siri or it could be OK Google. So uh, ChatGPT has accepted it and it's going to act 
like a chatbot. So it says, how may I assist you today? And here are the commands you can use and just use any of these commands to get started. So my uh, instruction is that uh, to trigger these commands, begin the instruction with, hey, Nick. So it's me, Nick. And I said, it should be, hey, Nick. So whenever I say, hey, Nick, play a movie, and it will uh, automatically trigger the virtual assistant. And uh, I'm also giving it some rules. Uh, I'm giving my uh, the rules within the prompt, which is please note that commands will be in square brackets with spaces removed except for messages or names. And you should contain, uh, your response should contain an acknowledgement in English and below it should be the sequence of commands. After you display the commands, do not print anything else. And just one more uh, condition to consider, which you should uh, focus on, is if the instruction includes the name of the app when using open app, append it to the command. So uh, I am uh, telling it to act as a command and a parameter. And uh, I can do one more thing. If I say increase volume and I say by 50%, so it says append it to the command. So if the instruction includes a number or percentage when using increase volume or decrease volume, append it to the command. So let's try a basic example. Hey, Nick, increase the volume by 50%. So it gives me the command in return, increase volume 50. Okay, let's try decrease the volume by 50%. Oops, I didn't write here, Nick, but let's see what it says. Okay, it's still... Uh, Activated it without Hey Nick. Okay. Hey Nick, play a movie, Black Adam. Now I am going to give it a chain of commands. Increase the volume to 100%. And set a reminder to call mom at 6 p.m. Now these are uh, comma separated uh, sequence of commands, which you know with Hey Google or Siri, it would never work, but let's see what our chatbot does. So we are expecting square brackets, square brackets, square brackets. Uh, let's see what it does. Okay, we got our first command. We got the second command, increase volume 100. And we got the third one, set reminder. Yes, it worked. So let's, let's try uh, one more uh, example, which is complicated. So I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to tell ChatGPT about my environment. Uh, because as of now, it does not know where I am and what kind of a weather I am in. So assume it is sunny. Hey, Nick. If the weather is sunny, or let's say if What's the weather today? And if it's if it is sunny, book a cab for the beach and play song California by Tupac. Let's see.
open app Uber and play song. So the command is play song California Tupac. Okay, wonderful. So as you mentioned, it's sunny. I think because I did it in the same line. So let me try this again now and see if the weather command also works. Now that's too smart of ChatGPT actually. It caught me there. Okay, weather. Ah, see now it uh, does not know if it's sunny. So that's why it's not uh, processing it ahead. So it's, it's very smart. And uh, I think that's it. Uh, that's the end of the demo. I hope you liked it. And uh, uh, the details are uh, on the in the article. Uh, so please go ahead and try it out and share your ideas with me. Thank you.